The principle of retracing, or it sometimes is also known as unwinding, is a very interesting uh, process that we see occur for a lot of people when they are going through a healing process. It's in brief, uh, very, very seldom, where we usually see a, a person who's only ever just experienced, say, one physical injury, one chemical injury, one uh, mental, emotional injury at some point in their life. Now, what usually happens for people is where they experience some kind of thing, and it's usually when they're you know relatively young, they don't always remember it. They've got that, it heals, sometimes it doesn't always heal the right way, and then sometime later they experience a, a second problem going on. And if they were experiencing a bunch of stress in their life at that time, neurologically and somewhat holographically, it seems to get stored in the body one way or another. And then you've got another issue, level C, and then you've got another D, and that's ultimately what uh, you know propels a person then to ultimately seek care because that's the point where they're just not able to compensate for it anymore. They have to do something different. So the point is, is that a person's actually experienced this whole series of events over the course of however long it's been, and it has produced certain changes with their structure, with their neurology, and also with their physiology. It can be changes in terms of the way that different parts of their body are moving. It can be changes in the cell structures themselves to where it is um, one of the so-called you know, lifestyle diseases, things like that. And so the point being is that when the body needs to heal from these kind of circumstances, because the, the doctor, the, the physician, whoever a person is seeing, they are not the ones who are actually doing the healing at all. No, what they're doing is they're identifying, okay, I see that there's a factor that is going on. It's interfering with this person's innate ability to be healthy and to be well. And so I am going to address that so that that person's body can heal. And after that, it is not up to the doctor, it is up to the patient's own body, that person's own innate intelligence to determine what is priority that needs to be healed. And so what we often see occur is even though a person may come in for XYZ symptom, and yes, of course, we would like and expect to see that go away as a byproduct of a person being well and healthy, is that, yeah, you'll have that first bit go away. But then if the person's body is actually clear and if it's capable, then what it does is it goes back to that previous level and starts to try to repair that as well. If a person's ever done knitting, as an example, if you've ever done knitting. Um, there's the expression, if you drop a stitch, and this is where that expression comes, a stitch in time saves nine. The idea being that if you drop a stitch, you can't just clip it out. You have to undo everything that you knitted, fix what you made the error on, and then do the whole thing up over again. So measure twice, cut once, one of those things. So when the body may have to heal for a certain kind of issue or some kind of an ailment, it may have to produce a series of compensations that are not ideal per se, but were necessary based on the circumstances at the time. And so as you're going through these back layers of healing, your body's gonna to try to go back through those sequence of events, D, C, B, and A. And as it does so, a few things may happen. Number one, you may actually get the reactivation of some of those old symptoms. And you may say, wow, I haven't had this issue since back then before. And you may think that whatever treatment you've received is actually what's caused that it's produced a new kind of problem. Well, that is not necessarily the case. And that's why whoever you're working with, it's very important that they're doing some kind of functional tests so that they know the difference if you're going in the right direction or if you're actually going in the wrong direction. But presuming that you are going in the right direction, you can have the reactivation of these old symptoms. That is what retracing is, and it's actually a normal, healthy part of the healing process. Now, in addition to that, you can also have the reactivation of some of those mental and emotional things that were going on at that same time. And this is not always fun because a person then, and how exactly this happens, we don't know. But again, it's like memory gets stored in the tissue itself. So as the tissue starts to change, you can have the reactivation of some of those old mental, emotional traumas, if you would. And some of them can be quite very uh, confronting, depending on the situation that a person may be going through. 
But in the same breath, there is another principle that is you know, worth sharing right here. It's that if a person's going through a retracing process, even if they are experiencing something very unpleasant or it's been you know, just right up in their face again and they have to relive some of those emotions, the body never does anything to hurt itself. And what that means is it means that if any of these negative thoughts, these emotions come to the surface, it means that your body knows that it's finally safe to be able to let these go, to be able to heal from that. Because if it wasn't, they would have stayed buried that whole time. So retracing, not always necessarily a very fun process, but a very insightful process to let a person know I'm actually able to let go of these different kinds of things that previously were holding me back. And as a person completes that retracing phase, they usually describe something along the lines like it feels like such a weight has been lifted from my body because it's very curious how feelings, thoughts, emotions, and previous things that have happened to us have a very, even though it's intangible, but they have a very palpable effect on our health and well-being right now. So the process of retracing, it's not necessarily one to be frightened of, it's simply it's one to be aware of as a necessary part of the healing process to where even if you can't get all the way back to 100%, if you can get back as close to that as possible, that gives you the best opportunity to be able to go forward, live your full potential for life at the highest possible level.